hello everyone welcome back to my channel and today we are going to listen the back story of the villain of my novel Danny Hernandez so let's get started one eternity later so this scene was set in 1982 in Pondicherry at Danny's wooden house Danny was a child back then and this is communication between him and his mother. Our father, who art in heaven, hallowed be the name, the kingdom come, they will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us into not temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. I was consciously listening to every word my mother was saying. I always believed in her faith in God. She used to say, if we pray, she used to say, if we pray regularly, then we will never be a prey in someone's hunt. You have to remember each and every word I said, and you have to say it with me tomorrow in the church. My mother said, while combing my hair, she would always adjust my hair so that no one would see my half bald head. Yes, my hair didn't drop off with time. I was actually born with it, my half bald head. Why am I not like others, Mama? I asked my mother. Her name was Carrie Fernandez. She was a tall, fair and the most talented lady in the whole city of Pondicherry. She had a strong affection for God and an extreme passion for music. So she merged both her passion and affection to become a member of the choir in a large church. I don't remember its name, but it was large, both by size and a name. Am I not like others, Mama? I repeated. Oh, Danny, you are just poor. You have a long way to live this life. And don't know about yourself and others. She smiled while pinning my hair behind my ears with a black colored hairpin so that no one would see that I am a bald. But I know I am different. See? I turned my brother's face towards the mirror on my left and pulled my hair slightly up to show her my half bald hair. Then I pointed at a childhood picture of my father hung on the wall. See, I'm not like my father. I'm not like others. Why? Why do I have less hair? I begged her to answer me. She had few tears in her eyes. Perhaps she hadn't expected me to ask this question at such a young age. I was just four years old. She wasn't prepared to answer it as well in the 27th year of her life. She closed her eyes and controlled her tears, not letting them fall down. It's not that you have less hair, Danny. The actual thing is that you have a high and huge forehead and it's a good thing to ever have. She told me confidently, kneeling down next to me and pulling up my right cheek. Really? I asked, feeling confused. She nodded and hugged me. I embraced her and she lightly patted my back. It's a good thing. People say, the more forehead one has, the more good fortune he has. It's a sign of deep intelligence and high hope. That's what you will discover in your life, Danny said my brother, embracing me close. And I repeated, yeah, it's a sign of deep intelligence and I hope the more forehead one has, the more good fortune. If you like this paragraph and want to read the next step, if you like this paragraph and want to read the complete chapter and the novel, then click on the link down in the description below. Father.
It's India's first domestic sci-fi novel. Grab your copies now.